Welcome to our channel. Today, we honor the lives of remarkable celebrities who have sadly passed away. Their contributions to film, television, and music have left an indelible mark on the world. Join us as we reflect on their incredible careers, memorable performances, and the legacy they leave behind. Stay tuned to learn more about the lives and achievements of these beloved figures who have recently departed. Philippe Leroy, born on October 15, 1930, was a distinguished French actor whose prolific career began in 1960 and included over 150 films. He first gained attention with his performance in Jacques Becker's The Hole, 1960, which earned him a BAFTA nomination for Best Foreign Actor. His talent was further recognized with a Primetime Emmy nomination for his role as Leonardo da Vinci in the Italian miniseries The Life of Leonardo da Vinci. 1971. In 2007, Leroy appeared in Dario Argento's Mother of Tears, the final installment of the Three Mothers horror trilogy. His last film role was in Gianfrancesco Lazzotti's La Notte a Piccola per Noi in 2019. Philippe Leroy passed away in Rome on June 1, 2024, at the age of 93. Eric Anderson, an American actor renowned for his roles in film and television, made a notable impact in his career. He gained fame with his debut film role as Rob Deere in the 1984 horror classic Friday the 13th, The Final Chapter. His film career also included significant roles in the 1988 movie Bat 21 and the 2002 drama Unfaithful. On television, Anderson starred as Bruce Christensen in Second Chances, Billy Siddell in 30-something, and played Felicity's father in Felicity. He had a recurring role on Melrose Place as Courtney Thorne Smith's psychiatrist and made numerous guest appearances on popular TV series including Murder, She Wrote, CSI, CSI Miami, and Star Trek The Next Generation, where he portrayed Commander Kieran McDuff in the Season 5 episode Conundrum. He passed away from cancer on June 1, 2024. Ed Mann, a renowned musician celebrated for his mallet percussion skills, gained prominence performing with Frank Zappa's ensemble from 1977 to 1988. Born on January 14, 1954, Mann contributed to over 30 of Zappa's albums, both in the studio and live performances. In addition to his work with Zappa, Mann released several CDs as a band leader and composer. His musical journey began in earnest when he formed a band with Tommy Mars in mid-1973. By the end of that year, he was studying under John Bergamo at Cal Arts. In 1977, Bergamo recommended Mann to Zappa for overdubbing work on the Zappa in New York album, marking the beginning of Mann's notable collaboration with Zappa. Mann passed away on June 1st, 2024, at the age of 70.